Welcome. The service will begin soon. Join us. Friday worship, the first Friday after Pentecost, June 17, 2022, 6 p.m. And good evening, everybody. Nick here. It is 6 o'clock on this Friday evening, and we have the place to ourselves this weekend. So we are taking advantage of that. We went to Providence yesterday with Eduardo, and that was fun, and he spent the night. So our prelude today is Let There Be Worship and Let There Be Praise. All right. Thank you, choir. That was a very beautiful welcome to worship this evening. And good evening once again. Welcome to tonight's service. And this is actually a rebroadcast from earlier in the week. We're doing this now so that way we don't get interrupted.
So here are your announcements for tonight. We've had two good visits with Eduardo in a row. He spent the night last night, like I said at the top. And we head to Grid Central next week. And Fenway number two is is not is coming soon. So in the not so distant future. The search for a new Wilbur continues. We made inquiries on Sunday and we even asked Lenny, you know, what resources are there in our area where you can look for a new Boston? The next dog game will be July 13th, which happens to be the day after my birthday. We might go on Sunday. Not sure yet. Might, but probably not. We'll wait to go when uh, Dad is here. Anything else? Yes, there are several videos that are going to be coming out this weekend. Obviously, I just posted what the ride to Grand Central looks like from New Haven and how it goes express from Stanford to the terminal. The only other stop there is after Stanford is Greenwich in that one. And then it just goes straight to Harlem 125 and to its final destination. Also, I wanted to kind of give you guys kind of a schedule of what exactly is on the way as far as these videos go. Next week, we are going to try to make a video from New Haven to, to the terminal in real life. However, my phone does not have, is not capable of doing that. So, if you, I know you guys have been asking me, like, well, are you going to make a video about, you know, the MH being Shoreline East and whatnot? Unfortunately, I'm going to have to say no to that because um, my phone is just not capable of doing that. It gets hot very quickly. And, um, and those MHs do not have a table or anything that I can put my stand on. So, unfortunately, I'm going to say the answer is no. Uh, let's see. We heard that we might have more time with Eduardo than initially thought. Uh, we are hoping that he stays here for three more months. So, we hope that, as that would be the best case, at least get to enjoy the summer with him before leading up into that semester. Tonight is the 100th video. So, you guys keep watching them, and I keep making them, and keep those subscriptions going as well. So, if there are no other announcements, so we come for them tonight in what is known as ordinary time now. And ordinary time is basically from now until Advil. It's like a general worship season. Uh, let's see, there was something else. And I don't think there was anything else. Oh, the assignment walkthroughs are now done. Uh, everything is locked up in Cengage as that is basically telling me that it's over. It's done. So feel free to watch any of the walkthroughs if you are taking that class this summer. I know a lot of people are. Um, I would hope those were useful to you. But let's get down to business here, though I I ramble. So receive the call to work.
We have great joy in Christ our Lord, who calls and heals us. For a while we bemoaned our sufferings, yet we are reminded that suffering produces endurance. Endurance produces character. Character produces hope. And hope does not disappoint us. Amen. And will you please rise and sing with me, number three, holy, holy, holy. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our sun shall rise to thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Holy, 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 all the saints adore thee, casting down their golden crowns around the glassy sea. Cherubim and seraphim falling down before thee, forward and ardent evermore shall be. Holy, 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 though the darkness hides. Thee, though the eye of sin form in thy glory may not see. Only thou art holy, there is none beside thee, perfect in power and love and purity. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, all thy words shall praise thy name in earth and sky and sea. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three Persons, blessed Trinity. Actually, why don't we just this over, put this up here, like usual. There we go. There we go. That's much better. Let's pray. Lord, tonight we come before you, recognizing that you are merciful and mighty, that you are the spirit of wisdom and hope. We witness your glory in the heavens and hear your call to us. We are sometimes overwhelmed by the thought of your compassionate care. Open our hearts tonight to hear and respond in joy to your call, that we may serve you faithfully all our days. In Jesus' name, amen. You are my all in all.
You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I seek. You are my all in all. Seeking you as a precious jewel. Lord, to give up, I'd be a fool. You are my all in all. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Taking my sin, my cross, my shame, rising again, I bless your name. You are my all in all. When I fall down, you pick me up. When I am dry, you fill my cup. You are my all in all. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name, Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. All right, very good. Please be seated. And our anthem tonight is One Step Elite.
All right. Thank you, choir. That was very pretty. And it is true. One step he leads. So we come to the place of prayer tonight. It's another one of his gifts where we can bring our lives and the lives of others that we know. Of course, we want to think about what the rest of this weekend will bring. We also want to think about mom as she got into a horrific accident on Wednesday, just, just casually going to meet me at the supermarket and some idiot hit her and they took off. So, so we want to pray that her juke has a speedy recovery and it's fixed properly. Uh, by the way, through a month plus, we've had zero accidents. So <clears throat> that's kind of the key here is to keep that insurance go down. We did go on 95 last night, coming back from Saybrook, and, we, and there were no problems there. I think that is the right time of night to go on that road. It was like... I think it was like 20 of nine or so and it was perfectly fine <clears throat> just don't go on it on a sunday afternoon coming back this way or going the other way just there are times to use it and there are times not to use it we also want to think about eduardo and what these final couple of weeks will look like with him we also want to pray that you know I know he wanted me to cuddle up with him and so on. And believe me, I wanted to, but some cat had other plans. Uh, my two-year-old dad's cat, Gil, got out. And uh, we wanted to stay down here just in case uh, he decided that he could finally come in. But if one of you are watching this, we'll make that up to you when we go to Boston. And as always, I will give you opportunity to lift up those that you know. And the first song today is 21, tonight is 2108, Oh How We Loved You Again. Lord, tonight we come before you knowing that it just takes one step and you are leading the way. We know that sometimes in life, we lead the way. And other times, we are, we, are follow, we are behind. Like behind the eight ball, so to speak. When we get ahead of the eight ball, something bad happens to us. We think of that horrible accident that mom got into just a couple of days ago, going about doing what every other adult does, trying to get to the grocery store, so that way we could be prepared for the four day late for the four days that they are not here. But we know this can happen, and it's always and it's always when something good is happening. We also want to think about 
Royal, and we know that he is saddened by the fact that we were not able to curl up with him and do those and with him uh, last night. But of course, we will make it up to him uh, in a couple of weeks uh, because animal safety comes can't unfortunately came first, and making sure that a beloved pet is not in harm's way. We also want to think about the bar as always, we want to think about the Barnaby family, and we would pray that just Charlie finds a peace in his heart where he could take away the dislike and the hate that he has towards me so that way a conversation could be had. You know, so that way there could be an understanding between two people. And wonder what he's up to. Wonder what life is like now. We would pray that he would, that you would look after him. We would pray for Grandma's roommate that she that he finds another place to go, maybe an assisted living facility somewhere where he can get the help that he needs that cannot be provided at home. And as always, we think of. Speaking of pets, we think of the Boston Terriers in our lives. Of course, we think of the late Wilbur, Willow, Milo, Lenny, and all other bosses out there, even bosses that we don't even know yet. And we continue, to, and we would pray that our leaders would make the right decisions that would lead to this inflation in everything we do. Make that go down. People that live paycheck to paycheck and people like myself who, who are on a very fixed income, we would pray that maybe another stimulus package would come and for those of you at home, we pause and give you the chance to lift up those that you know. And so is to this end. It just takes one step and you lead the way. And it just takes one step in our lives to make it right. In whatever way we can make it right with ourselves, you have made it right with us. You sent Eduardo to me when nobody else wanted anything to do with me. And we know in this time of joy, he is a gift from you, and he is a blessing. And I know if Wilbur was still here, he would approve of him. So in all this, we, we pray in that prayer that you taught us, saying together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen.
loves you and me. Jesus to Calvary did go, did go. His love for sinners to show. What he did there brought hope from despair. Oh, how he loves you. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves you and me. Before we get to the offertory tonight, I wanted to just say it has been a joy to watch these videos come to life and to actually see the impact that they are having on all of you, especially those, especially those stream ones in that train simulator game. So when negativity comes positivity and the positivity that it gives to us in our lives, whether it's a new relationship, a new car, a new Boston, and a new hope. So with all that in mind, I invite you to please subscribe to this channel and be sure to check out, continue to check out those other videos as well. And the offertory today is the, tonight is the journey of faith. Will the ushers please come forward as we receive the evening's gifts and offering.
Please rise. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Where is true that it's a journey of faith in life that we must follow. And you lead us every step of the way. So take these gifts and multiply them and make yourself known throughout the world. As we have found a new relationship, a new hope, and the search for a new Wilbur continues. In Jesus' name, amen. Please be seated. Okay, so the reading tonight is comes from Romans chapter 3 and 5, and also from John 16, and we're going to talk about reviewing the setting things right process. So Romans 3, starting with verse 21. But in our time, something new has been added. When Moses and the prophets witnessed to all those years has happened. The God sent things right that we read about has become Jesus sent things right for us. And not only for us, but for everyone who believes in him. For there is no difference between us and them in this. Since we've compiled this long and sorry record of sinners, both us and them, and proved that we are utterly incapable of living the glorious life God wills for us, God did it for us. Out of sheer generosity, he put us in right standing with himself, a pure gift. He got us out of the mess we're in and restored us to where he always wanted us to be. And he did it by means of Jesus Christ. God sacrificed Jesus on the altar of the world to clear that world of sin. Having faith in him sets us in the clear. God decided on this course of action in full view of the public to set the world in the clear with himself through the sacrifice of Jesus. Finally, taking care of the sins he had so patiently endured, this is not only clear, but it's now. This is current history. God sets things right. He always makes it possible for us to live in his rightness. And jumping over to Romans chapter 5. By entering through faith into what God has always wanted to do for us, set us right with him, make us fit for him. We have it all together with God because of our master, Jesus. And that's not all. We throw open our doors to God and discover at, at that same moment that he has already thrown open his door to us. We find ourselves standing where we always hoped we might stand, out in the wide open spaces of God's grace and glory, standing tall and shouting our praise. And now to Roman, now excuse me, now down to John chapter 12, excuse me, chapter 16, verse 12 to 15. I still have many things to tell you, but you can't handle them now. But when the friend comes, the spirit of truth, 
He will take you by the hand and guide you into all the truth there is. He won't draw attention to himself, but will make sense of what is about to happen. And indeed, out of all of that, I have done and said. He will honor me. He will take you from me and deliver it to you. Everything the Father has is also mine. That is why I've said he takes from me and delivers to you. In a, day or, in a day or so, you're not going to see me. But then in another day or so, you will see me. Here ends the reading, and may God add a blessing to the reading of these holy words. So, setting things right. Remember that means that to make, to correct our mistakes. And we can set things right with ourselves, the people we love, and with God. So let's look at those three things tonight. So let's say that you find you find yourself maybe you want to reach out to someone that you were with. And maybe you just want to set it right with them. But how do you do that? How do you do that if when you try to reach out to them, they don't answer you? Or they try to get back at you through a relative? Well, first of all, you need to tell that relative that if they have a, that if the person has a problem with us, to just tell us directly. Because that leads us into a place of feeling like we are being targeted. And, and of us feeling like, you know, we are not good enough for anybody. Believe me, we are. You know, it's this whole idea that if we develop patience with ourselves and we develop patience with, with the people that we love, that is how we set it right. Because naturally speaking, what we are hoping to happen with Charlie is eventually, I'm not saying now, we would hope that eventually he might reach back out and to apologize for what he did. But here's the here's a question you gotta ask yourselves, guys. How long would sorry last? You know, how long would it take for him to say sorry, but then to just turn it all over again back to what it was back on 10-1? This is this is exactly what we are afraid of. And this is what we are afraid of with Eduardo too. The idea of him going off and leaving us behind. But, excuse me, but the difference here is we already know that this is going to happen. We were well told. So basically what we are basically now it's a matter of just savoring those moments with him while he is here. And being able to do and being able to do those things that you know we like doing, like taking the train, going to Grand Central, and obviously we we're going to take him to Fenway for an overnighter. But what I said at the top is something that we have to think about. You know, I know a lot of people, it's a lot of people think that it's normal for you to sleep with, with your loved one or the one that you're in love with. Okay. Yes. That's. 
that wasn't very customary in relationship. That just sort of became the normal thing. But let's look at last note. Now, if the cat didn't escape and we were not out in the and and he would have just stayed in, probably would have. We had nothing to worry about. But because he because he ran out and because we had to chase him down and try to lure him back to the house, you can't hear anything upstairs. So we had to make a decision. And that decision was we we knew he was up there. But we wanted to make sure a pet wasn't in harm's way. You see, it's and you will hear about this later um, in a PowerPoint call what the next two weeks will look like with him and I do include a small piece called missing the small details but the thing is it is customary to sleep with your lover okay but things happen that we cannot control Now, because Gil is so quick, you know, by the time you turn around, he's gone. To I told him, you got to make sure that that back door is shut and you know where he is. Because we live on a main road in Lebanon, and like I said, you want to make sure that he is safe, but you don't want him in harm's way. I know that it's a bit sad. I understand. But reviewing this setting things right, it, it only works when two people are willing to make it work. I guarantee you, if Charlie took five minutes, or maybe longer, if he took time to call me and to, and to just communicate properly then all of this would would be resolved but because he has not and this still is not resolved so what is that what does it naturally do it naturally follows us around and leads us into a place of feeling like you know is it going to be the same with Eduardo is it, it you know all of those things that I talked about in, a, in one of my one of, one of the other videos that I did called "Overreacting to Things We Can't Control." And the thing is, we know that Wire wouldn't do that to us, but we want to make him happy, and we need to, and we have to make ourselves happy too. And to set it right with ourselves, like we did a month ago, getting that new Elantra, which, by the way, earlier today, I went by to the Colchester and I saw, saw what I used to have. It was exactly a carbon copy of what I had. But... The 13th version is just fine for now. See, that's setting things right. Now, the next thing is we want to talk about keeping our children safe this summer. Now that school is done, we have to think about how do we keep our children safe and how do we keep ourselves safe this summer. Now, 
one thing we have to think about is the apps that your kids use. Uh, I know a lot of the high schoolers use like the hookup apps. Uh, you know, you gotta make sure you know who your kids are talking to and know that this, there's a safety because you don't know who's out there. They may act as if they're their friend. But then they turn out to be a sexual predator. It's a scary world we live in, guys. And, you know, I was watching... I was watching a video on, like, the the L.A. District Attorney should not be in office. He shouldn't. Because two police officers are gunned down tonight. Are dead tonight. Because of some dirtbag that shouldn't have been out of prison. Who had a lawn rap sheet. But this district attorney does not care about you. He does not care about the public safety. And he and this criminal was placed on probation. So that so he could go and do it again and again and again. It's not it you know it, it isn't safe out there. And, you know, when we, what we have to do as parents, and I'm not a parent, but what you guys should do, if you have kids, talk to them. You know, have those conversations with your children and with your teens, you know. You know, if they go out with their friends or if they go on a date and they don't and they don't and and they come back very quiet and very upset, you can talk to them. You have that little aware button of, of like hmm, whatever everything's okay. And it's because we it's because we care. We care about Eduardo just as much as we care about Charlie, but not as much as we love, cherished, and care about Wilbur. A new Boston is on the way. And that way we can and then that will really put a nail in to what 2021 left behind. Our pets are like children. We have to watch out for them and we have to supervise them. When they get out at night, we have to do what we got to do to, number one, get them back in the house before something gets them and they are gone. That is the only reason why I did not go back upstairs last night. It's about animal safety. And at the moment, the little guy is right where he belongs, in this house, where he is safe. And I would really encourage you guys to use the train. when Use the train when you can. Now, the only downside about taking the train, and that's, this is my final thought to this message tonight. 
The only downside with taking the train to a place like Providence is you're only in that one neighborhood. So basically, you could be done at Providence Place Mall and you have, you know, maybe you, say you go up there for the afternoon, like yesterday. We were done at Providence Place Mall at 4 o'clock. And ended up being at that station for three hours. That will have that might happen most of the time, but um, you know if there was more time, probably would have gone and catched a movie at that movie theater at the Providence Mall. But that's just something for future reference. So that kind of th those kinds of things will happen. Now, who's this? Now I know next week when we go to Grand Central, it, it probably it, it won't be like that because you actually be able to get to move around and go between two stations. So, so yeah, this is this and so uh, this is what what we do. We're gonna set it right with Eduardo, just like we set it right with ourselves. And just like how God said it right by sending him, we are going to make sure that he is here to stay. Amen. And our closing hymn today is tonight is Thou Dost Leave Thy Throne, verses 1, 2, and 5. Leave thy throne and thy kingly crown when thou camest to earth for me. But in Bethlehem's home was there found no room for thy holy nativity. Oh, come to my heart, Lord Jesus, there is room in my heart for thee. Heaven's arches ring when the angels sing, Thou claim in thy royal degree. From lowly birth didst thou come to earth, And in great humility. Oh, come to my heart, Lord Jesus, There is room in my heart for thee. When the heavens shall reign and the angels sing at thy coming to victory, let thy voice call me home, saying, Yet there is room, there is room at my side for thee. Oh, come to my home. Lord Jesus, there is room in my heart for thee. Receive the benediction. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he help you set things right in whatever life throws at you. And we will be back very soon with the next PowerPoint. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, let us now depart in peace. Who in thy name are gathered here. Disclose the brightness of thy face, and be forever near. Amen.
And thank you for watching tonight's service.